So hello everyone, and welcome to my review of My Hero Academia episode 5, season 3. I think it was a really, really good episode. It was the, my absolutely favorite moment in this anime and manga, so right, which is when Spinner saves Deku. I think that was an amazing scene there. I was like goosebumps flaring out from my whole body. I was like, oh, this is awesome! Because, I mean, Stain, right? Which is clearly one of the best villains in this anime. And his whole idea is that, okay, what is a real hero, right? Like the dark version of All Might, dark version of... Um, Deck, right? When he wants to be, he wants heroes to be selfish, right? He wants them to actually just save people. A lot of heroes in this world are more commercialized and do modeling and so on, right? And he hates all that, right? And so that's a really, really good scene. Spirit is like, no, don't you hurt this kid. That is the one stain respects. <laughs> he cannot. Yeah, so I, I love that. I love that. And that kind of shows you that just between um, uh, the bad guys, right? Yeah, the bad guys aren't just this mindless goons that just follow the other bad guys general plan right now they are bad guys with different kind of motivations different kind of craziness right and so on so i think that that that's a really really good point there you, you, man it makes, it makes spinner much more interesting it, it must that stain is different than the other bad guys right uh, the other first bad guys and um, and again then it shows us really that okay you know each bad guy here has, has their own personality right so they are much more defined as characters, or they're more, you know, interesting, yeah, so I think it's a great scene. In general, it's also really cool how, of course, the bad guys are, like, recognizing <laughs> the main character, yeah, so, big sis, Magus, is trying to kill Deku, and, oh, this, this guy beat uh, Muscular, I have to go and kill him, he's dangerous, we are, of like, no, no, don't kill him, he's our worthy hero, yeah, so they have, they both have like, their own, uh, acknowledgement of Deku, right, yeah, they have, in their own right, they say Deku is a dangerous thing, right, um, but Spin but Spin 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 likes it though. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's good, he's dangerous. That's great. Yeah. He's good, dangerous in, in the right way. So, yeah, for me, that was an amazing scene. Yeah. I think that's one of the best scenes um, in the anime so far. Really, really good scene. Even though it's so short, but I think it has so, so much meaning in the scene. Um, and after that, I really, really enjoyed um, Tetsu. Yeah, his name is Tetsu. Tetsu, Tetsu and of course, Kendo. That was really cute. They had some great like trust and faith there. I think it was a great scene overall. Because there it was a really good build up, right? So first of all, she is like, oh, he's a one side that he's runs into danger. He's so, you know, yeah. He's such a one trick pony in his hands. And then she says that, and the next thing she's like, but I kinda like that the way it's here, but just smile, it's like, mm-hmm, some romance on ship there. Yeah, but it's like it's kind of, he's kind of cute. <laughs> that makes him kind of nice. Yeah, that, that, that was so nice. And how she sets it up. She's kind of like half annoyed his personality. But at the same time, she's like mad. But it makes him just a good yeah, like guy in, in a way. And then, of course, later on, when she's like, oh, I'm doing this big hand thing now. And, of course, the mustard is like, well, what are you doing? It's crazy. She's like, oh, I knew he would never give up. Because, you know, yeah, that, the, the personality trait. She made an earlier, it comes back to her, and right? she, she, yeah, she trusts her so much. That, that was really good, I think. And the general battle against Master actually really, really liked. In, in a lot of aspects. First of all, he has a gun, which I think is amazing. So you have a bad guy that is like, you know, okay, guns is actually, it's a still the thing, right? He's probably the first guy to, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, he, I think he's the first guy to use a gun, right, in this anime, ever. Everyone else is like, oh, I control fireballs, or ice, or whatever. And he's like, I have a gun. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I have a standard gun here. He, he could have a better gun, I suppose, like a machine or something. But he has a, he has a basic handgun. And I think it's a good thing. It's like, why, why doesn't the only bad guy use, you know, like a decent weapon, right? So, that, kudos to that. That was great. And also, I like how his powers made him know that, okay, you are moving towards me now in the gas. He kind of he, he can feeds you. Then you touch his gas, right? He's like, oh, you take me from the side, put you over here. And of course, her plan was that, you know, be that thing. Which also is great because that shows that Cam is a very intelligent person, right? And that was also built up earlier because um, Tetsuya was like, oh, you're too small, Cam, do you do this thing? And she's explaining that old gas center. And that both she's showing it, she has a personality, uh, showing, you know, her strength. It's also the big hand, but actually, she's a very, you know, very intelligent character and so on. And then again, then that comes back to her planning this thing very rapidly in the battle, right? So it shows the presenter is a like, uh, yeah, small person, and then later on she uses that in her advantage. So I think that's, that's a very good thing to do, yeah. And it's very, very good. I mean, I'm not going to say anything here, but some other animes, if you kind of just get in there, right? And she do this smart plan, and you'd be like, oh, she's a smart character, yeah. 
But here I like how he's like, man, Cam, do I like me? Because you're such an intelligent person. Like, he kind of set it up right. And she's like, oh, you're not playing with me. Yeah. So I think that was great. It was really good, a very, very good setup for the whole battle. And, and it was a great battle to see him, like, pain through, the, losing his steel, and yeah, like, metal fatigue again, and so on. So that was great. And uh, yeah, then we have the whole, uh, we have Twice, is his name right? Yeah, Twice and Darby, Twice can like make a copy or something like that. And um, Eraserhead uh, defeating the, the um, whatever, the clone or whatever it is, a yeah, clone or the Bullshin, yeah, and then of course that didn't really matter. Which, which made sense. Uh, first I was like, man, he, he did really beat Darby right away? I was like, yeah, it's a, it's a kind of fake because otherwise like that would be insta loose and that would be, <laughs> would be very interesting. But that was pretty cool. Um, I like also how Razorhead keeps mentioning that uh, Deku is like, man, Deku, you, you're running on like 100% adrenaline energy now. You have, you, you, your body is broken. You just believe you can fight. So stop fighting. Yeah, like that. That, that was a good. Uh, that was a good thing. there. kind of generally can't mention that. Um, I felt that he. That was one of the things I didn't like that much. How he kind of like. You said, oh, you know, buy Razorhead's Pro license, you can fight now. I, I, I kind of wanted him to say, okay, Mandalay, it's code black or code red or code orange, yeah. Like, if you have some, like, code pro hero, you can use your weapon now. So it's like, me, Eraserhead gives you, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's so like, me, Eraserhead uh, gives you the permission to use code, you know, weapon or something, yeah. So it's a little weird he used a sentence. For that matter, though, I, <laughs> yeah, I really loved when of course Deku is like, no, tell the Kashan is the target. He's like, who's Kashan? Who the hell is Kashan? He's like, she's like, I don't know who this Kashan is. I, I know the student names. There is no Kashan. <laughs> that, was, that was great. And then of course, Mike and Goulet, they're running around and he's like, stop calling me Kashan in my mind. I hate it. Damn Deku. <laughs> it's all Deku's fault. And the other one's like, Kashan? Oh yeah, Bakugo. Yeah, it's a cute name for him. He's like, damn it. <laughs> That, that was brilliant. That was freaking awesome. Um, so lastly, then, of course, oh yeah, Kashan and um, Trok is fighting, I don't know, deranged murderer guy with, like, teeth cork? I guess his teeth go out and he created, yeah. I don't know, it's an interesting quirk. Uh, but yeah, they're fighting him. Uh, that didn't really move. We see his quirk, yeah. But then we also get Dark Shadow, right? Dark Shadow is going crazy because... Generally, I guess, because his powers are like, well, yeah, the more light it is, the power is weaker, and now it's been lots of nights, so his power are maximum, I suppose. Um, the blue flame probably actually would lower it a little bit, but yeah, the is very dark, right? And during this fear or fights or whatever, right, he, he's getting afraid now, and then the, the, the dark shadow uh, increases in strength, I guess, so we can control it. So that's probably going to be next week's primary thing to, to defeat dark shadow. Uh, and when I say defeat, that probably means like, it probably means like, get it in the, on the control and then utilize it versus the bad guys, probably, right? Yeah, yeah, it feels like that's just the most common trope ever, in a, in a way, where someone, one of the good guys is like, oh, I have this power, I can't control anymore! And it's like, okay, just throw you at the bad guys and you go rampage with those people. Just kill them instead of us, yeah. And that's a very classic thing, right? But I, I cannot see it going any, any other way. It probably goes down a little bit of power and then it sends them into whatever, or something and have to fight like the, the shadow probably right it's just like come on that's how it is and but yeah i think it's a it's a really good episode hope i see you and i'll see you guys next week